Hi, this is just a quick YouTube um, response for um, MST. MST made a comment on one of our videos that he was um, interested in detecting a um, an API, an active pharmaceutical ingredient called um, Drotavirin. Um, and I looked up the structure of Drotavirin, so I understand the structure of this um, particular molecule. So he says in his um, comment um, that he's he wants to use potentiometric methods, I understand that. Um, he has a particular molecule in mind. Um, and he wants to do it on screen printed um, electrodes. And he wants to do by ion selective electrodes, so ISE. Um, so obviously, you know, you want me to give, you know, my, my considered opinion here. And I would suggest that actually you didn't do this by um, potentiometric methods using ion selective electrodes. I'm actually going to suggest that you do it by um, voltammetric methods, and I'm going to give you a fairly simple experiment to do. That's kind of a, almost 100% guarantee to work. Um, so what I'm going to suggest is this. So this is the molecule that you're interested in, and when we look at a molecule like this this is very electrochemically active. Um, why do I say that? Because you've got aromatic ring here, another aromatic ring here, and on that aromatic ring you have um, heteroatoms. You've got oxygen here, oxygen here. Um, this nitrogen is probably also electrochemically active, and these oxygens here. So your, um, your pharmaceutical molecule looks to be quite electrochemically active. Now what I would do is I would um, direct you to have a look at a um, or do a Google search on the site of voltammetric quantification of capsaicin. So this is one of our um, pages and I'll just let um, there's a little um, animation running along here at the moment. So watch this, watch this now. This is this technique is called cyclovoltammetry. And what happens is we're applying the technique and we get a peak. And then the cycle of voltammetry is going to come back in a minute. And some of you who have watched our videos before will you know, know that I've talked about this in the past. But what this is doing is it's using a technique called cycle of voltammetry. So I'm not suggesting potentiometry to you. I'm suggesting voltammetry to you. Because look at that. On the second sweep, there's a new peak. So what this is doing is we have effectively taken the compound. We've put it on a screen printed um, electrode. And we're able to get, by doing voltammetry, you're able to get a distinct fingerprint for this molecule. Now this molecule is called capsaicin. So here's capsaicin. Note it's got that nitrogen atom. Note it's got that oxygen atom attached to the aromatic ring. And it's got another OH group attached to the aromatic ring. So let's do a comparison. Look at that. The way that molecule is there. And the way it comes out. And there's a nitrogen here. And... Um, We'll also do the same here as well, that the oxygens and nitrogen. So this molecule, capsaicin, leads to cyclovoltammetry like this. It tells me quite strongly that, in fact, your um, molecule will also give you very distinctive cyclovoltammetry. So what I'm suggesting is um, the first experiment you should do, maybe you want to go on to do potentiometry and ion selective electrodes. The first thing you want to do is actually get a signal to your molecule. So we have a um, page on our website called um, Analyzing Molecules by Electrochemistry and in it we suggest um, some starting points for cyclovoltammetry and what we suggest is that you take a um, solution of just buffer then you add your molecule of interest in and what's going to happen is you're going to notice I suspect a big difference between just buffer and your molecule and that will give you a sense of actually my molecule is um, electrochemically active and um, we suggest some parameters there. Now to do that experiment you need to buy this molecule. You um, should probably find this page, it's a good starting point for you. So I am suggesting a starting point for you is cyclovoltammetry. You will need a potentiostat. Um, maybe uh, this potential stat for example um, the anapot is pretty good so there's an um, there's a potential stat here and it will do um, things like cyclovoltammetry for you 
and you might need now I know you want to do single wall carbon nanotube um, sensors so what I suggest is this um, this is a um, the hyper value screen printed electrodes um, there's a video about them here they're carbon electrodes so these are graphite so onto the surface of those graphite I suggest that you pipette on a solution or suspension of your um, single wall carbon nanotubes and, and let let the solvent dry away so that you're basically left with a surface of um, single wall carbon nanotubes now you actually don't need to use a single wall carbon nanotubes in order to do the first experiment that I'm suggesting to you so the first experiment I'm suggesting to you is the effectively do this experiment where you have your solution sorry you have your drug in solution you do a scan on cyclic voltammetry you'll get some oxidation peaks you'll let the scan come back you're going to get a reduction peak and I'm pretty sure that you might actually get like we do in capsaicin get a new peak on the way back so this is effectively it's like measuring an electrochemical spectrum for your molecule and so the fact that you may get um, something like three peaks is a fingerprint for your molecule now if somebody says to you well how do you sort of prove that specificity I'm sorry to give you this answer but um, I'm not sorry to give you this answer what I'm suggesting is um, that you would actually use uh, AI artificial intelligence so AI is really good at image recognition so you can give AI um, data from different molecules from the molecule of your interest and other molecules and you can actually train AI to be really quite good at saying okay that's my drug molecule and that's not my drug molecule so um, your starting point let's go back to your so original question was you, you know it was very detailed you know you want to do a certain drug and you do want to do it by potentiometry um, because you're doing your PhD my suggestion is you first of all want to have some success and so I would start with voltammetry and specifically cyclovoltammetry and yeah you can definitely use screen printed electrodes and um, these are not bad ones to um, start with in fact, I think they're quite good um, now if you really want to use single wall carbon nanotubes you can you can pipette them onto the surface of that my suggestion is you could still get an experiment done without doing that um, and then you will get probably get um, you'll get CVs like this and at which point then you can use the peak position and the peak height to say yeah that is my molecule of interest and if you ever want to make a product from it you obviously can't be there interpreting the CV every time for maybe you know the final users so, but what you can do what we do and actually sort of turning into an app so the food sense is a good um, opportunity for you to take a look at that and yeah you can use AI to interpret um, voltammograms like this yeah and I just noticed this here as well it's probably worth you taking a look at this uh, mechanism because this mechanism of oxidation reduction will probably be similar for your molecule um, so that's quite a bit of information just in um, the last sort of five minutes so I'll post this video and I hope it's interesting um, and useful to you okay thanks very much